Hello and welcome from Soggy, Ohio. I should really be crafting an arc right now, but we're going to play anyway. Today we're going to get inky, or should I say watercolory, as we work on a project with Case the Creator. This is an, a neat event where I am going to show a project that is originally from JC Cards and put my little twist on it. And I'll explain more about that later. Let's jump into our project today. I'm going to do several backgrounds, but that's the main one. I'm starting off with Ranger's watercolor paper. I've already adhered it to my craft mat. I'm gonna use this pixie spray, which I'm telling you is the bee's knees. Uh, you wanna follow the directions carefully on the can, but you can lay your stencil down and see it's not going to budge. And it helps you, especially with those detailed ones. So now I'm getting out my glimmer paste and I want you to see that I was bad. And I um, didn't clean off my lid and I wound up having to throw away that jar because it wasn't sealed. The stuff dries right away. So I'm just spreading like butter on toast some of the glitter paste just lightly across the top of the paper. Now this watercolor paper has a rough and a smooth side and I'm using the smooth side and I like it because it's white, it's bright white. So as I'm doing this, I was gonna tell you a little more about Jen. She is a on the design team for WOW and she also, I believe, is with Katherine Puller. And I hope I do you justice, Jen. I'm taking my stencil pal, that, or stencil buddy, whatever, that it's really, that's nice and it's cheap. They're like four bucks for two of them. And I'm trying, I don't like to waste any, you know. So this collaboration was to help us get out of our comfort zone. And I'm really getting out because I hate a mess. And as you see, this is gonna become quite a mess. I'm using Nuvo shimmer powders, which are dry, basically watercolor powders. You gotta be careful because sometimes they will shoot out of the container. And I'll have all the colors listed in the supply list. These are just like color bursts or several other kinds. Uh, and I'm just tapping it on lightly. A little usually goes a long way, but I kept kind of sopping up too much as you'll see later. So. Now I'm spritzing this with water very generously. Know that everything in the area will wind up having watercolor on it, including your hands, your arm, the table, everything. So just keep this in mind and just have a whole roll of paper towels ready. You'll have the prettiest trash on the planet. And then I'm just dabbing off the extra water. You wanna be generous with the water to get it to move. But I think sometimes I took off too much, but you don't want to push down on it because that will mess up your texture paste. But you can always add more powder, and I do. And then you just mist it some more after you kind of get the places that look a little, a little thin there. So Jen does some beautiful work. You really need to check out her channel. I will have the video linked below that I am casing, which stands for copy and share everything. Now I shouldn't have done this, so I left it in just to show you that it's probably not the best idea. It did kind of make things run and it kind of, kind of messed up the differential in the colors. I don't know what I was thinking, but I'm gonna show you another project in a second, but we're gonna finish this. We're gonna tough this out. I don't leave things wasted if I can possibly help it. So I'm just gonna dump more powder on, but not too much. The, a lot of what you see is actually on the stencil. So, you know, it, it's gonna make a big difference when I pull that stencil off and it comes right up. Now I dumped this in a bucket that it was right next to my desk that had soapy water in it and I still didn't get all of it off. 
So keep in mind, you do not, this glitter stuff, they really ought to sell it as cement as well. They'd make a bundle on it. And here is the project while it is still wet. Uh, it's kind of hard to see how shiny it is. There you can see it better. But it's beautiful. It kind of reminds me of ocean waves. So now, like I said, I promise we're going to do another one. This one will skip a lot of the steps. But I and look at my hand up there on the left. That's nothing compared to what it winds up being. And I just poured the same powders on. And then I decided I was going to angle that a little bit and kind of move the water that way rather than sopping things up with a paper towel. And I decided that I was going to sop a little differently this time because I wanted to leave a little more color. But anyway, check out Jen. She does a lot of stuff with embossing paste or embossing powders. See, I'm not dousing the whole thing again with the paper towel. And she does some really neat things. Now, now I was going to tell you where the stencil is from. This is uh, the creative, the crafters workshop. I'll have all the supplies listed below and over at my blog with picture links. And see, that I like kind of, it's kind of not a legal ombre, but sort of an ombre. Now I decided just to goof around since I'd already made a mess and I've got, you know, watercolor all over me anyway. And you'll see my hands and that's after trying to scrub them. So I'm just dumping powders on my Ranger craft mat there. And I'm just playing around. I'm doing, it can be a background. It could be... Uh, something that you die cut out of later, but I wanted to show you how shimmery these were on their own and not just on the glitter paste. And I'm just going to take more watercolor paper because that can really take the uh, heavy water. And I didn't realize the camera was this close. So sorry about that, but now can you see kind of hard to see how shimmery it is, but I will show you later. These are the different backgrounds that I made after they were dry. And this one could be my favorite, but I'm going to save it for another project. That's using a Hero Art stencil. I love that one. And these are the backgrounds. Now that they're dry, you can kind of tell that there's the little bit of sheen to it. However, you have to use a fixative because it does come off. Even as dirty as my fingers were, I noticed that it comes off. And I'm trying to be a thrifty crafter. And there's no reason if you're matting a, a card that you would need to waste that paper underneath when you can make a little frame. So I just die cut a border out of the uh, rectangular border out of this and then I will keep the uh, rest of it for a project later down the road. See? You don't need that paper and all it does is add bulk and sometimes add to your postage. So I thought well this will this will look decent mounted on this. I used my Hero Arts liquid glue. It's like the Lawn Fawn and the Gina K. They all are made in the same plant, so I think they're probably all about the same. Uh, and that gives you a little bit of wiggle room, and I feel that wiggle room when you're trying to line something up is of major importance. My head was in the way, so and still is, um, so I cut a lot of it out, but all I did was just adhere that, and I'm going to glue the uh, pasted panel on top. and line that up and just kind of let that dry for a few minutes. By the way, that glitter paste, I let dry most of the day. So we're going to do my first attempt at a messy thread nest. I think that's what that's called. Um, I like things kind of organized, so this is also a stretch for me. So I decided it would be easier if all the ends of the threads 
were the same length so that I could try to hide the adhesive underneath the hugs die cut that I already have die cut and glued to the vellum. And then I'm just going to kind of arrange it. And I have no idea what I'm doing, but it comes out looking kind of messy, I guess. So I'm hiding the glue for that, plus uh, the vellum. You don't want to glue on vellum because it does show through. And this green vellum, I think, was in a Hero Arts kit, but I don't know. I've been crafting since the early 90s. Well, I've been crafting all my life, but I've been stamping since the early 90s. And I have some of this stuff. I have no idea where, how long I've had it. All I know is I still can't find anything. Just because you have a big craft room, all that is is more territory to cover when you're hunting for stuff. So here's the finished card, and I think it turned out pretty nice. It's kind of hard to see, but there's actually gold flecks in that glitter now because of the watercolor powder. And I hope you enjoyed this card and that you'll come back and see me and subscribe and comment and share with your friends. That is the biggest compliment ever. And visit over at the DarbyCreekDiaries.com where there'll be a lot more information and loads and loads of posts. Thanks again. And I'm going to leave a couple of videos here that you might want to check out. I'm also on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.